Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss some more type of motion. We will simply discuss what about their properties. The very first one is your simultaneous motion. simultaneous motion what are what is this type of motion remember si simultaneous means one after other or one they are someone doing two type of work at a time so from this we can say that when an object possesses two or more type motion so this type of motion is known as your simultaneous motion but remember it's at same time at same time the best example is your hand drill machine in hand drill what happened during hand drill that uh, bit or that holding part rotate itself that drill bit do the rotation or you can say circulatory, uh, circulatory motion or rotatory motion and the on the same time bit that uh, holding part moves further go deeper inside the metal plate so it is a translatory motion so it performs two type of motion and one common example for you people is about cricket ball let me rub this part first you all of you play game cricket clear in cricket there are different different bowling style one bowling style is spin bowling so and for this bowling we have some specified baller so a spin baller do what it first i borrow this ball from my neighbor so that i can easily explain you about the process of spin bowling as we know that a spin baller do throw this ball towards batsman so ball goes directly towards batsman likewise no but on the same times it with its trick a spin baller rotate the ball so this ball start to rotate um with its axis likewise rotate and with the help of rotating it moves towards a uh, batsman so that it's not easier for batsman to tackle this spin bowling so this is the other type of simultaneous motion in this motion ball perform two type of motion one which is moving towards batsman directly it's a translatory motion or another ball rotating itself uh, with it, with its own axis fixed axis likewise so this is your rotatory motion so in spin bowling 
ball cricket ball perform two type of motion one is your rotatory other one is your translatory so these type of motion are known as your simultaneous motion hope this one is clear to you now move to the next type of motion next one is your periodic motion next one is your periodic motion in periodic motion which comes with an interval of a period means with repeat itself after a fixed interval so this type of motion is known as your periodic motion definition says that a repetitive motion means motion repeat itself repetitive motion which repeats as name defined which repeats itself after a fixed interval of time or regular interval you can say fixed interval of time is called periodic motion for example the best example is piston of a motor as we know that piston is fitted within a chamber let me draw some rough diagram so that you can easily understand suppose this is a chamber under this there is a piston and this piston is fit with some motor now fit with some motor to and this piston is used to rotate the motor what happen whenever engine runs this piston moves up and down moves throughout the this chamber means first it moves upward then after again come back to downwards why because they, this is fixed so motor runs this piston and with the help of this piston your car moves that is the concept it moves up and down inside a chamber inside the crank you can say crank or whatever it is inside this chamber it moves inside the chamber so that motor can runs so it regulate itself it repeat itself after a, a fixed interval of time so this is known as your periodic motion and one common example is your heartbeat heartbeat of a healthy man man and as we know it's a 72 times in a minute Seventy two times in a minute. This is your heartbeat. So this is also a periodic motion. After this, we have just opposite of periodic. It is a non periodic. Let me rub the board. A non periodic motion. Motion is repetitive one. So repetitive motion. but not at regular interval or fixed interval of time this type of motion is known as your non periodic motion for example a football player as we know football player running with a haphazard way so that it reach up to the goal again come back to its own goal post again move so this is the non periodic type of motion and some more 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 
is there for example bouncing ball as we know whenever we bounce a ball first it go downward then we move it moves upward then come back again move upward again come back so see again it moves upward and come back so the interval of time is decreasing so this is also a non periodic motion now next motion is random motion random motion is almost same as non periodic motion but in this case motion changes random motion in this a moving body change or moving body change changes its type of motion types of type of motion type of motion here motion is not fi fixed with change in motion body so i change with time body change the motion for example mosquito flying mosquito is there na flying mosquito suppose it's flying here over here sometimes it reaches up to this way so further it's supposed to move in this line but suddenly it change its movement and come go to the other direction then move to the other direction so this type of change is known as your random motion sometimes it start to flying around some point so this type of motion is known as your random motion now move to the other type of motion next one is uniform motion and these two motion means uniform and then after we discuss about non uniform these two motion are very important so try to understand the concept very carefully suppose a body is moving move travel tra moving and it take one second uh, one hour say one second is not sufficient one hour to move from point a to point b place a to place b and distance between a to b is uh, we can say 15 km then again this body move b to c and in one next one hour distance is also same 15 km similarly it moves c to d in next one hour means that is in third hour distance is also same it's a 15 km so this type of motion if body performs this type of motion in which with respect to time body covers equal distance is known as your uniform motion or more perfectly we can say if body covers equal distance in a equal interval of time equal distance in a equal interval of time equal distance in equal interval of time is known as your uniform motion equal interval of time it is known as your uniform motion remember they are moving in a straight line
this is more important part this one moving in a straight line body covers the same e distance in same interval time in a straight line in a in a same straight line that type of motion is known as your uniform motion many examples are there a train traveling with equal distance that's why traveling equal distance in equal interval of time in a straight path perform uniform motion what about non uniform motion non uniform motion is just opposite to this uniform motion opposite in every respect so let's discuss non uniform motion suppose that same body discussed in uniform motion moving from a to b distance is 15 km and in 1 hr and it take to reach b to c i'm taking two example no? 2 hr to reach up to B to C. Distance is equal but time is not equal. Similarly, C to D again it will take half an hour. Distance is same 15 km. So here what we are observing that distance covered by the that body is not equal in equal interval of time. Means what? For traveling from B to some other point for next second hour, body is traveling only 7.5 km in second hour because it will take 2 hour to reach from B to C and distance is 50 km. So, next second hour, next hour, it takes 7.5 km and then 7.5 km and then next in next one half hour it's a travel 15 km means in one hour it's travel 30 km so this is not the unique this type of motion is known as your non uniform motion suppose a body is moving from point p to q in one hour and distance between point P and Q is uh, 20 km suppose and then Q to R in next one R it moves Q to R and distance between Q to R is 10 km then it's R to S distance between R to S is 30 km and it will take one R so this type of motion is also known as your non-uniform motion. Hope this one is clear to you. Why I said to you that uniform and non-uniform important for you? Because in next part of this chapter, we discuss about uniform and non-uniform velocity as well as speed. In that case, these two concepts again required for us to clarify that those concept so it's easy good for you that you learn or clear the concept uniform and non-uniform at this in this video hope this one is clear to you all of you read this uh, see this video very carefully and try to read your book that's all for today thank you